I retweeted this tweet promoting this must-read article. In Ukraine, the U.S. is dragging us towards war with Russia, John Pilger warns. Washington's role in Ukraine and its backing for the regime's neo-Nazis has huge implications for the rest of the world. I've always said that I want to use this platform for activism. Two easy tasks. Favorite this video and favorite the tweet that I feature in the video description because that one promotes this article, a must-read article. You can set up a Twitter account if you don't have one. That should be easy to do. And then you can retweet this particular tweet. I'll leave this in the video description. And that will help then promote his article, which is a must-read article. The reason is, I think it's a good summary of the situation in Ukraine. And it talks about how the United States masterminded the coup in February against the democratically elected government in Kyiv. And the U.S. media is playing along with all this. U.S. media has been reporting on the situation with Ukraine and Russia as if they know nothing about U.S. history. A history of supporting fascism and overthrowing democratically elected governments. Well, we did have an election. We did have a legitimate election before. And uh, the elected uh, president was uh, removed after we had uh, major street violence in reaction to his decision of going with a uh, economic agreement with Russia rather than the EU. About that street, the violence that happened that led to this Mr. Yanukovych's removal, um, there were pictures that people of people running around with these uh, that were we were told were neo Nazis. Is there were there neo Nazis in those uh, efforts, street violence that? Uh, uh, led to Mr. Uh, Yanukovych's removal? Uh, first of all, the vast majority of those who participated on the Maidan were peaceful protesters. Uh, if you had a chance to see the pictures, some, many of us visited, including many members here. Mm. There were mothers and grandmothers and yeah. veterans. Let me and note every, that I have a, however, I saw, uh, however, before, before you go on, I saw those pictures as well. I also saw a lot of pictures of people throwing firebombs at groups of policemen who were huddled in the, over in a corner where people are uh, shooting into the ranks of police. So yes, there were mothers with flowers, but there were also very dangerous street fighters who were engaged in those demonstrations. The question is, were there neo-Nazi groups involved in that? Um, there were, as I said, almost every color of Ukraine was represented, including some, the answer, including so the some ugly yeah, colors. The answer is yes, then. If you want to understand more about Ukraine, watch the video 3 on Ukraine. You can use the YouTube tools in the video description to retweet this video or share it as far as embedding it on your blog and so forth. But then the important thing is that to use this video as a tool to ask people to retweet the tweet in the video description, which then promotes this must-read article. Please subscribe to build up this platform and share this video using the YouTube tools. Give it a like and also check out these other videos.